Jacked up. Hey, Mr. Bill Poker Peeps, welcome to the vlog. Hey, sorry this is late by a day, but things got all jacked up. On Thursday, I left to go buy my mom's house in Ohio. That went fine. And then I got to play poker three times, Thursday, Friday, Sunday, at the Jack Casino in Cleveland. That's all jacked up, but in a good way. Unfortunately, there was a number of things that were jacked up in a bad way. <laughs> The run good I had last week got all jacked up this week. No good. Uh, my flights, my hotels, my travel, all jacked up. So with that, let's get to some jacked up poker. Wednesday Poker League, we are going to four tables to three tables. We have about 13,000 something, which is just about average. Oh, there's an egg. Well, there's open end out. <laughs> All right, second break at Wednesday Poker League. I have 23,000 chips. I think average is probably about, I don't know, uh, 18,000. So how many you guys think? Oh, I got about half what you got. Okay, he's got the, that many. Steve and I have the last two left, and our little mini last man, Billy, Matt, and Dane are out. So here we go. Good luck, buddy. All right, good luck. We are all in. Hold on. Folded. Okay, what you what is he oh yeah, baby. Come on. More sixes. Third, six. Get some more right? sixes. Two or three. Come on. Not nine. nine. That spade doesn't help. You're trying dead though, right? Yeah. Nine You're helps me. Dead. Get no, it to right. yourself. <laughs> that didn't help me at all. Hang <laughs> on. Cleveland, Whew, it's a lot colder here than it was in Dallas, so 21 degrees or something. Jack Casino, Thursday night, uh, pretty late, probably got there around 11.30, 12 o'clock after my flight in from Dallas. Uh, I didn't play a hand for the first orbit or so. It's a 1-3 game. Uh, I get King Jack under the gun, I have $290. Um, I make it 13, the plus one, and the button both call. The flop with 43 in the pot comes king, king, four. I check, it checks around. The turn is an ace. I check, uh, it goes check, check to the button. Who bets 25? I decide I'd make the call. I know I have him crushed. The other guy folds. The river with 93 in the pot, another ace. It's the worst card ever. Jacked up. I check, he bets 50. I fold. He does show an ace, unbelievable. So it turned out I was playing at a table that was actually a tough table for a 1-3 game. They didn't have a 2-5 going on, and I was playing against some of the better guys that play cash games in the Cleveland area, I found out. <laughs> so this next, I actually played the next three hands against the same guy who is considered very, very good. We're only six-handed, I get pocket aces under the gun, I have $290, uh, I bet 13, and there's three callers. The flop with 56 in the pot comes jack of clubs, four of diamonds, nine of hearts. I lead out for 35, and two players call, and a fourth one folds. The turn now with 161 in the pot is the seven of clubs. I lead out for 70, this other player who's considered very good, goes all in for 170. The other guy folds. I know I'm beat here, but for another $100, I make the call. Bad idea. The river's an eight of hearts. He had pocket fours and he flopped a set. The next guy now against the same guy who had been dominating the table, he had $1,300 now. I only have 360. <laughs> I have king of diamonds, jack of diamonds in the big blind. He's on the button. It checks around to him. He bets 12. The small blind folds. 
I make the call. The flop with 25 in the pot comes jack of spades, two of diamonds, three of diamonds. Can't get a better flop than that for me. He bets 13, I raise it up to 32, and he makes the call. The turn with 89 in the pot, another great card. The king of hearts. Now I have top two with a nut flush draw. I lead out for 65, and he makes the call. The river with 219 in the pot is actually what I think is a bad card. It's the ace of diamonds giving me the nut flush, and I think I'm gonna get no value. But he leads into me for 150. <laughs> I only have 251, so I shove it in there. He absolutely snap calls. He has the second nut flush with queen, 10 of diamonds. He also has open-ended, holy cow. Finally, the last hand against uh, this guy, uh, I have queen of spades, seven of spades in the plus one. I have $850 now. It was a limpy game. There was lots of limping going on, so I limped in. I wouldn't recommend. Another player calls. He's on the button. He makes it 12. I call, and the other player folds. The flop with 31 in the pot comes. Pretty good. Queen of clubs, seven of clubs, four of diamonds. I flop top two. Um, I check, he makes it 20, and I make the call. The turn with 71 in the pot is the six of hearts. Uh, I check, he bets 40 now, and I make the call. The river, 151 in the pot, is the seven of hearts giving me a full house. I bet 135. He tanks for quite some time, but makes the call and now win another nice pot. So after that hand, that guy left, but his buddy, who was also a very good player, uh, was still there, his name was Cliff. So I'm under the gun with pocket queens, I have $1,000. So I make it 13, the cutoff calls and the button, this guy Cliff, makes the call. The flop of 53 in the pot comes king of diamonds, queen of diamonds, nine of clubs. It checks to me, I make it 35, there's two folders and Cliff makes the call. I had a bad feeling about this hand for some reason. Uh, the turn with 123 in the pot was the eight of spades. Again, I just felt like something was wrong, so I checked and he checked behind. The river, 123 in the pot is the 10 of clubs, awful card. Uh, he leads out for 100. I actually show my set and fold. He shows ace of diamonds, jack of diamonds for the straight to the ace and he is never going anywhere with that flush draw. So I actually saved money by not betting on the turn. Jack Casino Cleveland started on Thursday, March the 7th. It is now Friday, March the 8th at 2.27 a.m. In the game for 700, out for 8.85. Woo, it's quite the roller coaster tonight. Second night playing at the Jack, let's roll. Friday night I went uh, relatively late also, and I started off horrible. I got like two or three second best to start the night, and I was down a couple hundred dollars just in a few moments. So I was kind of feeling aggravated, and I said, I'm gonna win a few pots. <laughs> So I have Queen of Clubs, Eight of Hearts on the button with $280, uh, and I had straddled, uh, button straddled a six. The end of the gun makes it 16, the cutoff called, I made the call, and the big blind calls. The flop with 52 in the pot comes Ace of Clubs, Seven of Clubs, Four of Clubs. The big blind checks, the end of the gun makes it 20, both the cutoff and I call. The turn now with 112 in the pot comes the 10 of hearts. It goes check, check to me, and I bet 110. The first guy, tank, folds, and now the second guy, the cutoff, tank, calls. At this point, I'm thinking he's on a king of clubs for a nut flush draw is what I think, because <laughs> uh, he sure tanked a lot uh, on the turn. The river with 332 in the pot comes the ace of hearts, the second ace. Uh, I shove all in, I only have 134 left. If he's on a flush draw like I think and he was tanking, I'm good. And he pretty much snap folds. So on this next hand, I have pocket sevens in the cutoff. I worked my way up to $400. Uh, the under the gun, the plus one, limp. I made it 13. The small blind, the big blind, the plus one, all make the call. The flop with 55 in the pot comes all hearts. Ace of hearts, seven of hearts, eight of hearts. Um, it checks to the plus one who donk bets for 35. Um, I call and the others fold. The turn with 125 in the pot comes the five of spades. He leads out for 65. 
I'm not loving it, but I'm not gonna fold here, so I make the call. The river with 255 in the pot is the nine of diamonds. He checks, gosh, now, not only do I get beat by a flop flush, but a six beats me too. Um, I sh maybe should get try to get value here. I did not. I checked behind. I showed my set of sevens, and he mucks. And Friday night went downhill from there. <laughs> Okay, on this next hand, there's seven players. I'm in the cutoff with king of clubs, queen of clubs. I have $270. There's actually seven players at $10 in this hand. Holy cow. The flop comes, nine of clubs, jack of hearts, queen of hearts. The under the gun bets 15. A middle position one player who had only $21 left went all in. It comes to me. I raise it up to 65. Folds around all the way to the uh, under the gun again who shoves all in for 195. I tank for a while, I make the call. I have top pair, I have good kicker, I have a straight draw, I have a backdoor flush draw. Yes, he could already have me beat, but I've got a lot of draws and he turns it over and flopped the nuts, king 10. I have to have a 10 now to, to even chop and the board comes, six of spades, three of clubs and I lose that one. Then there was a guy named Gary who came to the table. He was a relatively young guy, uh, just crazy. He looked like he'd been doing drugs or smoking dope or something because he was not fully with it, although I think part of it was an act because Gary knew exactly what he was doing. Came to the table with $300. Within 40 minutes, he had $1,400. Um, he, of course, was flopping the world. I never got a hand. Never ever got a hand against him. I wanted to play against him, couldn't do it. But he was playing eight, nine, five, six, uh, aces, kings, queens, which he got numerous times, and he won pretty much every single hand. So, bottom line, Friday, not as good. I lost $270. Uh. Well, it's Sunday. My flight was scheduled for 7 30 a.m. Got a text last night that it was going to be at 11 a.m. So, didn't get to the airport till then. My flight just got canceled, so. <laughs> and I stay, I'm a non-revenue passenger, so that means getting on any other plane the rest of the day is gonna be tough, because all those passengers go to the other flights. So now I'm on the bus. I'm gonna go down to the jack and play for a while, and hopefully make my flight at 7.30 p.m. So, very first hand that I played, I think I had waited an orbit or so, I got Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, with $250 in the hijack. Uh, the button had straddled to $10. Um, it was two callers. I made it 45. Um, the hijack calls and one of the limpers called. The flop with 152 in the pot is the three of diamonds, four of hearts, six of diamonds. It checks to me, I make it 65, and the button shoves all in for 265. Uh, there's a fold. I don't have the ace of diamonds, which means he could have a lot more diamond uh, flush draws in there. So I make the call. He does not. He has two of clubs, five of clubs. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I pretty much am drawing dead. Jacked up. So the board runs out with no two five for me to get a chop and I lose that one. So the next interesting hand is I have pocket aces again with $280 under the gun. I make it 13, middle position one and the cutoff call. The flop comes, king of hearts, six of hearts, five of clubs. I make it $18. There's a fold, he makes it 42. I make the call. The turn, 10 of clubs, it goes check, check. And the river's the two of hearts. I check, he bets 85, I fold. He shows the flush. Two pocket aces hands, two cracked pocket aces. So the guy that beat me with the 2-5, he was a nut. He was raising every hand. Uh, it didn't matter whether he had good cards, bad cards, it didn't matter. Uh, so there finally opened up a seat on his left. I moved to that seat immediately. He gets up and leaves to go play in a tournament. Unbelievable. <laughs> I guess I wasn't running very good with the cards or with the players that day. But the good news about all that was I absolutely started dominating the table. There was not a whole lot of guys who were being aggressive. I was raising preflop very, very liberally, probably 50% or more. I was three betting liberally. Uh, nobody was fighting back and I took advantage of that. 
Okay, I'm on the button with uh, nine of spades, queen of clubs. I have $600. I had worked my way up. Uh, there was three limpers to me. I'm raising liberally. I make it 15. The big blind and one limper calls. The flop with 49 in the pot comes queen of hearts, six of hearts, five of clubs. It checks to me. Nobody wants to fight back. I make it 20. But the big blind, who is now starting to get a little tilty, makes the call. The turn with 89 in the pot is the king of spades. I think it's a good card for my hand because I represented that I was a the preflop raiser. Uh, he checks to me, I bet 80. He makes the call. Uh-oh, a jack would be good here. <laughs> the river though, 249 in the pot, is the king of diamonds. Uh, you know what, I cannot win if I don't bet. Uh, he's never gonna fold a king. He's never gonna fold a queen. Uh, he has, but he has plenty of missed flushes. So when he checks to me, I bet really, really small, like I want him to call. I bet 40, and he folds because he did have a flush draw. <laughs> Woo hoo, good for me. And the last hand at the jack, uh, before I gotta go try for that flight Sunday night, is I have pocket sixes on the button. I have $880 now, so I'm moving up more. There's three limpers to me. Uh, I make it 13, the small blind, the big blind, and the one of the limpers calls. The flop with 58 in the pot comes queen, queen, three. Uh, the small blind bets $5. Now, this guy had earlier bet $10 pre-flop with pocket kings. So I think he's very, very strong here. Uh, but it's $5. The hijack calls. I make the call. Let's see if I can spike a six, right? Um, the turn with 73 in the pot is the six of clubs. I got a full house. Yay hoo. The small blind bets $5. The next guy calls. I raise it up to 35 and the small blind makes it 105. I absolutely know he has a queen now. The next guy folds. I go all in for his effective stack, very small, of 145. He makes the call and he proudly turns over queen eight. I show my pocket sixes, yay me, and the river is a three. It is all jacked up, baby. That's pretty much how my sessions have gone at the jack almost every time. I'm absolutely crushing him. He gets a three on the river. He wins the pot with a bigger full house. <sighs> Poker's fun, isn't it? It's really fun. I love poker. So I went back to the Cleveland airport, tried to get on the last flight of the night at 7.30 uh, to go back to Dallas, and I was the first non-revenue passenger not to make it. So I call to get a hotel reservation. I get a reservation. It says right on their website on Priceline that they have a shuttle. I call to get a shuttle ride. The shuttle doesn't run on Sundays. That is jacked up. So anyhow, I'd take an Uber. It cost me another 15 bucks. I was going to go back to the Jack Casino and play some more, but I didn't feel good, so that wasn't good. And so I did get some sleep. In the morning, I had to get about 5.30 a.m. to catch my flight for Monday so I could get back to work. I get in there, little shuttle, and it doesn't start. <laughs> Unbelievable. So the shuttle driver was nice enough to take me in his own personal car. So at least I got to my flight on time, got to Dallas, got to work, all that kind of stuff. But the bottom line in Cleveland is I lost $200 in three days, about 12 hours of poker. And I actually feel really good about that. As bad as I ran, as poor as I ran to only lo lose $200, that's pretty good actually. The Mr. Bill meetup game. That's a little jacked up too. <laughs> Negotiated with some clubs. I can't come to a negotiation. So we're doing it ourselves from the Wednesday Night Poker League gang. Uh, March 24th was going to be the date, but the place we're going to do it is booked. So we can't do it that day. We're looking for another date. It is going to happen soon, probably in April. And I will let you guys know. So what's coming up for Mr. Bill Poker? Well, I may be playing in the World Series of Poker uh, circuit event at Tulsa this weekend. What is that, March 17th and 18th or something like that? So if you happen to be there and you see me, give me a shout. Actually, I, if I play, Billy will be there too. I will be updating on Instagram about the World Series of Poker circuit and my meetup game. So if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you follow a link one of these places and uh, follow me there and you'll get some some updates 
So that's gonna do it for this vlog. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and doing all that stuff. If you're not a subscriber, click my head. Or if you wanna see more of Mr. Bill, watch another video, that'd be great. Thank you so much once again for watching and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for all the great comments. And you guys have a blessed week. I'm gonna have a blessed week. And we'll see you all again next time. Bye. At least not for me, cause I need my freedom like I need